Hey everyone, I've found a new car. It's a new old car. It's a 120 Prado with a V6 in it. And it's gonna have a couple of problems. First one, you're looking at it right there. So fuel gauge not working, quite common on the petrol models. There'll be a lot of information on these vehicles. Let's check it out. It's a GXL. Ashtray looks like it hasn't been used. Cigarette lighter still there, how's that? Um, hardly been in low range. Pretty clean condition, no cracks on the dashboard, anything like that. Does need a clean, but uh, not too bad overall. Very original. What I'm thinking is, let's get it into there, put it up on the hoist and drop that oil out and rip the sump off and make sure it's worth progressing with the bring it back from the dead, maintenance, upgrades, get all the service up to date and make sure it's a good vehicle. So this is probably a good one to follow. Subscribe, turn the bell on, whether it's a petrol or diesel, this is the process I would go through mainly for a v6 because this is the v6 4 litre v6 1 grfe straight in and drop the oil we need to get the sump off and have a look at that oil pickup all right that's generally what it looks like in here not bad condition all the big things that matter is the things that i made sure in good condition steering wheel dashboard seats um interior trims are not too bad either Certainly needs a headlight job and this grill's going to need some uh, securing there and of course like I said the headlight job prop done properly but it doesn't look too bad in the video as bad as it does here. It's got a really old Optima in here that went in in 2017 that was already used long story short works on uh, diesel generators six batteries when one was not quite right well that's when they thought they just replaced all six so the other five good ones got a free home so it's a second hand battery that's been in here since 2017 some repco filters doesn't look too old diesel fit i reckon he'd done 10,000 k oil changes i haven't even checked the books because you know what it's not going to be written in the books and you know can you trust what people say it looks pretty good from oil leaks it's got a bit of corrosion surface corrosion as you can see I think it did some beach visits, that sort of thing. But overall, not too bad. You can see a little bit on these screws as well. It's not like a minor power steering down a bit, so that normal steering, power steering rack leak is probably going to be um, a thing, but we'll get underneath and have a look. But the first thing we want to do is get this cover off, have a look around, and of course, get underneath it, get those bash plates off, have a good look around. I want to get that oil out, and I'm hanging to get the sump off. Have a bit of a look at it. It's very original, so it's got the dust on it, never been washed. Like I said, it's got a bit of surface corrosion going on. Like I said, it's had some beach visits sort of thing is what I believe. Looking around it, it is very free of oil. It's very dry everywhere you look. Now, you're going to get a bit of weepage at the valve covers on these petrol engines. Common problem with petrol engines. So if you have a look over this side, you can see that bit of a sweat there. It's not a big deal. Um, hopefully not the timing cover leak. By getting a later one, 2008 this is, hopefully you avoid a lot of those sort of issues. But let's just see what happens. It'll be an interesting one. It used to have a do a little bit of towing, so it had a brake controller. That's all going to get removed, cleaned up. You're just going to see this vehicle really come back from the dead. I mean, look at all that crud in there. This is a vehicle that's been sent to the wreckers, if you like. Um, it's been maintained. It's been kept stock standard. Average maintenance. Hopefully, the oil changes is a key here, which why I'll stop talking. We'll get it up and drop the oil out. Get that sump off and have a look and see what happens. I don't know if it's going to be in this video. Subscribe, turn the bell on. Could be the next video or the one after that. And a whole heap more info. You might find it interesting. This is picking up someone else's vehicle that they've got looser and looser about maintaining and spending money on and repairs. They just let it go and then they finally go, oh, you may as well sell it. And then someone like me or you, we get our hands on it and we fix it all up, clean it up, do the repairs, maintenance, get it up to date because it's a good solid base. I'll say it again, 120 Prados some of the best cars ever built and could be the best cars ever built Let's having a quick look inside the car it's got the trim cover missing there it's actually november 07 built compliance first 08 right, so back to basics oil change your dipstick out so you don't forget to put oil in oil cap off so the oil, air can go in and the oil comes out let's have a look how dirty this is now they all look a bit people are going oh no they all look a bit like that right they do and i'll say it's not going to be perfect oil changes, that's for sure, right? But down there looks pretty good. That's the part you need to look at because up here, they're kind of like, they all get that. There's nothing, you know what I mean? So you could take that off and have a better look down in there. Um, and there's other checks you can do as well, removing sensors and stuff like that, to have a bit of a look around. But depends how much time you've got when you're looking at a vehicle. 
So like I said, I've got the later one. You know, a lot of them haven't got good service history. And then if you get one that's really clean and straight and well serviced, you're just paying absolute drug money. People are dreaming and I wouldn't pay them that sort of money for an older vehicle like that. Because even, even though it might be serviced, it's still risky. We'll have a quick look around, all right? This is what I've been looking for, an original, unmodified. Um, so what do we got? Tires in roadworthy condition. Original suspension that still works. Drive shafts obviously been replaced because they're rusty color surface. That's not genuine Toyota. Those bloody lower ball joints look great. So let's have a look at the, uh, those um, bushes in a minute. That one looks really good as well. Bit of a sweat on the rack boot, right? That's where that power steering wheel is going. Don't worry about that, just ignore it. Same each side. Standard Toyota stuff. The good news is I can't see much in the way of uh, coolant leaking off the radiator. Let's have a bit of a look up there. Yeah, there is a little bit there, so oh, not too bad. Might be starting. And the thing is, the plastic deteriorates. It could break off. Um, bumper bar, just having a bit of a look around. Original bash plate. No. See, off-road? Nah, not happening. Didn't happen. Something hit in here once, but see the scraping. It's not an off-roader, this one. There's that sump plug with a reused washer about 3 million times. Okay, underneath here, you can see no lift kit, no underbody scraping. Has the transmission oil ever been done? The pan hasn't been off. Who knows? Lucky the transmissions are bulletproof. <laughs> There's a sneeze. A sneeze of excitement. An awesome A750F transmission. As I said, clean and free of oil leaks, which is what you want. It's had some grease in the propeller shafts at some stage, but I'm going to say it needs a lot more. I don't think he's been doing much with the lubrication and the diffs and stuff like that. A lot of road grime underneath there. Right. Uh, I don't know what something scraped under here, I'd say at some stage, sort of recently, maybe a year or two ago, looking at the evidence. Exhaust, quality, Toyota product, it's all good. Original springs. Let's have a look at the brakes. Now, both front wheel bearings have got plain, and first thing I checked, I go, well, you know what, they're not going to have been changed. They've both got a little bit of plain in them, and I reckon I could hear it when I'm driving. This fuel hose, you know, oh, it's soft. Look at that, guys. So it's either been changed because it leaked, Right, because that is soft, so it's one less, that's another hundred bucks saved, beautiful. Uh, rear brakes are getting quite low, so we'll throw some brakes in. It's got a bit of brake pulsation. So lsiauto.com.au is where I get the stuff, and the discount code is 4 b 4 2024 in case you're interested. Sorry about the rain, it's pretty noisy in the background here. Pads and rear rotors will be getting organised. Uh, yeah, that fuel tank guard's been off recently. Probably to do with the fuel gauge not working. Yeah, you can see someone's worked on it recently, yep. So they've tried to fix it, maybe. Yep, so we can work out the evidence of what's going on. Fuel gauge not working, okay, cool. Uh, tow bar's here, looks pretty good. What's going on? Yeah, that's all standard. Wiring plugs there, that's pretty good. Has it had the recall done? Yeah, it has, because there was a recall. This gets cut because they're bloody dodgy short cutters. Um, just having a bit of a look around. We might have a separate video for that, uh, having a look at that oil. But we're leading up to that. I'll try and keep them to about 10 minutes. Just having a look at original suspension, right? So a bit of a sweat there, but it all still works. That's just how awesome these cars are. I'm really looking forward to dropping these oils out. That'll be next, the diff oils. Um, no transfer filter up there on a V6. So if you're looking for yours, don't worry about it. It's not there. Transfer case is probably the same on the V6 as the uh, as the other one. I've got a brand new, it looks the same, it's got the same wires, two sensors up there. So spare transfer case for this as well. No oil leak at the transfer case because happy days, right? All right, a little bit of grease there. So that's good that it's been somewhat lubricated by the looks of it over the years. So that's good to see. So what I'm seeing under here, awesome. But let me just show you these. Let's have a look at these bushes, see if we're surprised here. Or have they been changed? Because that looks different. I think this has had lower control arms put in it, maybe. Awesome if it has, because I was expecting to have to do that, or the arms, right. Oh, look, those bushes are beautiful. So this might have had arms. Yeah, look how clean the nuts are. They're aftermarket, but it's had new lower arms put in it. Beautiful. That's why these lower ball joints look so good. Okay, sweet. We are, it's one less thing we have to worry about those lower... I don't know what they are, where they came from. I'll try and find out more about it. Probably got done, I'd say, recently the lower arms with the um, CVs, right? Making it really roadworthy because there's no oil leaks, there's no deteriorate, there's nothing I can see. There's nothing here 
that a roadworthy inspector would pick. I mean, they could be fussy and try and pick something. Like they could say, oh, there's a sweat on your shockers, but these tyres are actually roadworthy. So this vehicle can go for a roadworthy soon because it's actually pretty roadworthy. It's actually, I mean, you know, we'll give it a clean up so there's no confusion about what oil leaks might be. Leaks are drips, you know what I mean? There's no drips, this thing's bone dry. It's certainly roadworthy. The bushes, everything's good. Look at all those link pins on the sway bars and that. But look, they could say, oh, your shockers are leaking because of that sweat there. That's not leaking, that's just how it, they could pick on that ball joint there. But there's nothing wrong with it. This vehicle mechanically is awesome. I've done well, that's what I thought, but we've got to get this bash plate off and drop this oil. But I think I've waffled too long in this video, so let's wrap this one up. Subscribe, turn the bell on, and let's get this oil out in the next video and have a look and see what we find. Could be good news, could be bad news. It's looking good so far, but who knows? Catch you in the next one. See ya.